Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to build a custom liquid cool PC again and this PC is just going to be used for gaming, nothing else, probably a little bit of web browsing and all uh, but I mean like uh, in general this would be just used for gaming so let's start So guys before we start uh, let me just quickly tell you that what hardware we are going to use on this system so this would be an i9-9900K build uh, which would be paired to an ASUS Z390 Maximus 11 Extreme motherboard uh, this is gonna have uh, 64 GB of RAM I know that's a lot but uh, I had this RAM lying around and I wanted to use it uh, in a build so we are going to use the 64 GB uh, which is the Trident Z Royale RAM from G-Scale uh, clocked at 3200 MHz. Uh, for the boot drive, we are going to use an NVMe M.2 drive from Samsung. I think it's the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. Uh, that's the model. I don't remember exactly. Uh, for the graphic card, we are going to use the NVIDIA RDX 2080 Ti Founders Edition card. And as this uh, whole system is a custom liquid cool PC, uh, we are going ahead with the water blocks from EK and the radiators from Alphacool. There are two radiators. One is 420mm uh, length and 45mm thickness. The other one is the 360mm rad, uh, again a 45mm thickness. And uh, we are going to use the uh, use a distribution plate from Barrow uh, which has a pump uh, built to it and uh, again we're going to use the fittings and the pipes from barrow uh, they make pretty decent pipes and fittings and uh, yeah the price they are well priced i mean they're not expensive they're not pretty cheap but then uh, compared to price to performance ratio they are pretty good the quality is uh, decent enough uh, for the case we are going along with the uh, thermal take view 71 which is an amazing case the only reason was because this is a uh, I mean a liquid cool PC I wanted a case which had a tempered side glass panel and uh, that would get a I kind of give a distinct look to the PC so we went ahead with the thermal take view 71 and for the power supply there was just one power supply that was lying around with me uh, it was the EVGA 2000 watt power supply and uh, we have some custom cables for it so uh, I'm gonna use it uh, in this build so guys, without any further delay, let's start building the PC.
so guys that's it our build is finally finished and i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video press that like button share with your friends and if you have not subscribed to our channel please do consider subscribing it actually helps us a lot and yeah guys if you have any queries regarding this build please feel free to ask me in the comment section below i'm also putting up the list of the parts that i've used in the description so you can go and check that as well and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one until next time it's Sajeev signing off stay happy stay healthy stay blessed bye bye